Oh, hello, and thank you for joining me. I'm Timbo Took, and this is A Joy of Painting Middle Earth, a time when we come together to paint the most fantastic landscapes Middle Earth has to offer. And maybe we'll paint a scary one a time or two. That can be quite fun, you know. Now, I may not be the best painter in the Shire, but I do love it so, and I'd love for you to paint right along with me. So if you're ready, grab your paints and your brushes, and let's go on an adventure. Oh, welcome, welcome, and thank you for joining me. We have a special painting planned for you today. As you can see, it's one of our tall paintings. We do like these tall paintings. Now, today's painting is the road that goes ever on and on. That's right. Oh, inspired by Mr. Bilbo's song, we're going to paint that road. Now, we've prepared our canvas, and we've put down a thin coat of that magic white. Oh, you know the magic white that the Blue Wizard taught us how to paint with. That's right, Bob Ross the Blue. He would come to the Shire once a week when I was just a small hobbit and teach us all how to paint. Now, we're going to do what he has taught us, so let's get right to it. Now, today we've got that, as I said, that magic white down on there, and we have our colors. We have ultramarine blue, which is a light blue, alizarin crimson, phthalo blue, sap green, burnt umber, ivory black, cadmium lemon, yellow ochre, and of course titanium white. Now, I did a painting a few days ago and I had some paint left and I had just left it on my my palette, that's right, and it, it might be a little hard. So we're gonna start off and try to use this paint, but we'll see if we have to switch it out. We will, we will, but it looks like it's still, we can still use some of this. So we've got this, it might be a little thick, but that's okay. There's no mistakes, just happy accidents. That's right, that's what Bob Ross the Blue used to say. So we're gonna come here. Oh, and I'm shedding a little bit of paint. There we go. Now we're just gonna come up and we're just gonna put this blue in our corners. There we go, just start off there. Put a big old hobbit foot on your easel if you need to steady it out. There we are, maybe one day I'll get a more sturdy easel, but this works for now. And we just put that in. We're not having a real dark sky today. Whoa, that paint, oh, it's, that's a little crumbly, but we'll just see, we'll just see. We're just gonna bring this in. Oh, and it's a little streaky, but that's fine. That's fine. We're gonna have some tall trees right on the side here. And we'll have some mountains off in the distance. This is going to be the path that old Mr. Bilbo would march down as he headed off to Rivendell to visit with the elves. Oh, that's right, that's right. There we go, just put that sky in. Just do those crisscross strokes. Just come in here. Mix that in, there we are. And just bring that sky down. That's just going to be in the background. Soften that out, soften that out. There we are. And that's all we're going to do for the sky today, because it's mostly just like I said, it's going to be in the back. We'll have some tall trees there. These little white spots, those will just be some wispy clouds. And that's it. So let's wash our brush. Now we wash our brush in odorless paint thinner. And we've got it right here in the bucket. That's right. We just wash that off. And then, of course, we're not beating the sauron out of the brush on the easel because we're inside the hobbit hole. And the Mrs. Hobbit would get quite upset if we made that kind of mess. So we have a rubbish bin down here. And we just... That's right, we beat the sauron out of the brush right down in the rubbish bin. There we go. Now you have a clean, dry brush. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to put some mountains in back there. So... These are just going to be hazy off in the distance mountains. And we're just gonna take some of our phthalo blue up here. We'll just bring that down. Maybe a little bit of alizarin crimson. 
There we go. Some of our ivory black. We'll mix that in there. There we are. There we go. We have that dark color. That may be a little blue, but that's okay. That's okay. We're just going to have these mountains. Those are just going to be right back here. Just coming up this way. Just down. Those march off into the distance. There we are. And we're just going to pull those down right into the painting. Just pull out that excess color. That's right. We're not going to do a lot of detail on these mountains. Those are just going to be hazy off in the distance. There we go. Now just clean off that Clean off that palette knife. Now we're just going to come to a clean, dry, two inch brush. And we're going to come right up here and we're just going to pull these mountains down. There we go. Just pull those down. It's going to be that haze on there. So just soften those out. And we're just going to tap this in now. Just going to tap that and just create some mist. Just create some of that mist that's in the sky. Just soften up those mountains. These aren't harsh. These aren't harsh mountains. They're just off in the background. There we go. And you get down here, you're going to be tapping into that liquid white, that magic white that's on the canvas. You're just tapping that out. There we are. Just tap that along and that'll just give some of that haze. If you have to and you're really pounding on it, you're not going to hurt your canvas. You just put that there and that just creates some things for the eye off in the distance. There we are. And that's all there is to those mountains. Now we're going to come we're going to clean off that brush. There we go. All cleaned off. Set that off to the side. Now we're going to come. We're just going to take this, this blue color we have here. We're going to go into some of our sap green. We're probably going to have to reload that. There wasn't much there. Just come in. And we're just going to take that on our one inch brush. Now we're just going to put in some trees that are off in the distance back here. Just popping those in just right down there. There we go. That's all there is to it. You're just tapping that brush on there. When you tap it in, you're not pulling it. You're not pulling that. You're tapping that in and that leaves all those little things going on. It leaves the impression of some leaves and all of that back there. There we go. Right like that. Just take it up. And these are just trees that you have to cross through before you get to the mountains. There we are. We're just dropping those in. There we go. And we're going to come and we're going to put some a road right in here for our path. But before, before we do that, let's just come. Oh, we'll come to our, our fan brush. Now we're going to go 
get some more of that sap green and we're going to clean this off and we'll get that replaced here in a moment. But I just wanted to use up some of these colors. That's right. Waste not, want not. That's what my old Grand Gaffer Gamgee used to say. Waste not, want not. Oh, he was a very wise hobbit. Oh, and he went with Mr. Frodo all the way, all the way to Mordor. Oh, that, oh, I don't want to say too much. I don't want to be an egg spoiler. That's right. And let's put in maybe a taller tree. Let's get that a little darker. We want that one just to be a little darker so it stands out a little bit from the rest. There we go. And just kind of go back and forth. There we go. Zigzag that out. Just an evergreen tree right there. Maybe there's one that stands up back here. And it just gets lost there. Lost right behind those other trees. Oh, and we'll put another right here. Another one, he comes up right here. Just start off with that line. Just put a line and then you can follow that line down. Just zigzag it back and forth. There we go. That gives us an evergreen tree. There we are. And another. Maybe this one's a little taller. There we go. Come back to it. And he'll just get lost. He'll get lost back there. That's right. There we are. So we do a couple of these trees just to break up what we have in the back there. There we go. Just, if your brush is a little worn down, you just wiggle it back and forth to get a little sharp. And then we can come back and we put our line in right there and then just take it from the top and just come down. There we go. Just these little details. There we are. There we go. Now we can come and maybe we want to put some darker edges. What we're going to do is we're just going to grab and we're going to pull this up. We have that dark color already on there. And we're just making some things happen in this tree line right back here, right there. There we go. And that gives us all sorts of things. And then we can come back to that dark green color and just pop in some other things, some other trees, a little darker here and there. But then, of course, we'll come back and maybe we'll highlight some of those because we want to make this a fall painting. Oh, a painting from autumn. This time of year, when we're, we're a little far out from the changing the leaves, I like to think about it. So I like to do those fall paintings this time of year. So the trees we're going to have along the sides, those will have a lot of oranges and reds and that sort of thing in it. There we go. There we go. That's just off in the back. All right, I've loaded up some more sap green. We might have to do that from time to time. But we're going to come in. We're now, we're going to set down what's underneath it all. So I'm going to put a dark green here and just work it up. And it'll get lighter as it comes up. So let's do that. Let's mix in a nice, a nice dark green. Just with our two inch brush. That's right. And then we're just going to come here. And we're just going to put this, this color, this dark underneath that we'll be going on top of. That's right. Just bring that across this way and we'll have our path going through here. This will be like a corridor. That's right. Now we're going to go to more of the green as we come up. As we come up a little higher Oh, we got quite a bit of green there, but 
There we go. Now as we come up, it's going to mix. It's going to mix with that magic white we had on there. And that'll lighten it up. This is going to be a lighter field back this way. There we go. There we are. That gives us some land down there. Now we're going to put some, oh, we're going to put some trees and things in here. So we're going to go, we're going to go a little dark there. So we want more of that, more of that dark color. And we're just going to, we're just going to lay that down and we'll come back and we'll highlight. So we're going to have some trees. Oh, if you have to put a big old hobbit foot on there. There we go right up into the corners. We're walking through the forest. This is what we see behind, beyond what we're walking through. And we want this to be darker as we come down here. We'll have some branches that stick out to blaze. There we go. Oh, and you're like, oh, Timbo, you did, you did all that, and now you're just throwing it on there. Well, it's a test of how stout-hearted you are. We're not ruining it. We're just giving us something to paint over. That's right. We want some dark areas in there. Real shadowy areas. There we go. There we go. Now let's go do the same thing on the other side before we run out of all our, all our paint. We're using a lot of paint on this. We're just putting that down. Now when we come back to highlight this, because we're putting the paint down real thick, we're gonna have to use, we're gonna have to use a thinner paint. That's right. So we'll come here, let's go darkest down here. We're gonna put some of this right here. We're just gonna start separating it out now. Making it some trees. Now let's just continue up right here. These are some bigger trees that are in the front. Oh, we're really, we're really knocking this. I need to tighten the screws on my easel maybe. That's right, I might have a screw loose. Oh, you could say I have a screw loose. I think a lot of people would. Oh, that's okay. We just, we just love to paint. Love to paint, making these trees that come, hang right out over that way. There we go. Oh, I might break this easel by the time I'm done. We're just putting it on thick. Oh, that's right. Putting it on a little thick. Oh, I see that many times at the Green Dragon. Oh, that's right. Some friends, they, oh, they put it on a little thick. <laughs> that's right. There we go. Let's darken this up. Make sure these areas down here stay very shadowy, very dark. We don't want to mix mud. We still want there to be some things going on that look like separate and individual things. Now you can see, maybe this looms over even a little bit more. Even a little more, we have some branches that stick out. Just really, what we're trying to do is create a frame for the eye. Just create that frame where those, those leaves will come out. And you say, oh, Timbo, that's a mess. Well, it is a mess. And that's why we come back and we highlight these things. Well, let's just take, oh, I think I'm just going to set this brush off to the side. This dark brush, we'll set that to the side. Now that we've got that, let's come, let's get some burnt umber. Oh, we got to peel through to underneath. There we go. We get some of this burnt umber. See if we can get that on the brush. 
We might have to thin this up a bit. Oh, I think I'm just going to have to knock off that glop. That's right. That's right. Like I said, just using up these old paints. Now, now let's do a big old tree right here. And this is going to come up. We might have to thin that out a little. We want that to stick down there because we have a thick paint down and we have to go over the top of it with a thin paint. So we're just going to come up this way, right through there. And then we'll follow that back down. There we go. We'll just bring him up. There we are. And we'll do some more back here. Another one right over this way. And you start to lose that in there a bit. There he is. There he is. Well, well, I think we need to put a few more of these branches and things. Oh, we can just see some in here. Maybe a guy back here. And one here. So you just put those in and those get lost. They get lost back there. And maybe. There we go. Now let's come. Let's come to our palette knife. And what we can do is we can we can scratch some in as well. Just take the palette knife and you just scratch in some of these branches that you see. And those will mix in with the others. There we are. And then before we come back, before we come back and we, we start highlighting some of these, let's just, oh, we're getting this real thin, a nice brown, dark brown ink is what we're making. And this will just drop in. Oh, you look for your spots where you can see through the trees and that's where you want to see a branch. You'll be able to see a branch through those. There we go. Just down that way. Just drop some of these in. Here and there and there and here. There we are. And you see, you look for those spots where you can see back through the trees. Because if the leaves are real thick, you're not going to be able to see the branches through there. But when you see those spots where you might be able to, to see it right through those leaves, there we go. There we are. Just put some of those in there. You can even come down here. And we can put some down here. Just maybe there's a dead one that yanks out right over that way. There 
There we are. You're just making all these things that just give it more... It makes it so it's not so flat. Come over on this side and let's put some down here. There we are. Now we've got a lot of green. We have a lot of dark. Let's come back in and let's, let's give some highlight in here. There we go. I think it's time for some highlight. And let's come, let's make a highlight color. Let's see. Oh, that yellow is pretty thick there. We're going to take some of this and we're going to put it right over here. Let's mix some of our titanium white in there with that. Maybe come to some alizarin crimson. Make some different colors here. And just streak those together. There we go. All right. Now that we have a nice orange, let's find some spots where just some of this color is coming through. Maybe mix in a little more white with that. So it's a lighter, lighter color. This is being highlighted here. Highlighted, just bring that down. And this is just a nice autumn forest. I know it doesn't look that way yet, but we haven't put in the autumn leaves yet. There we go. Now on this side, we're gonna have the light coming in this way. So this side, the highlights won't be quite so bright. Let's just mix up a darker highlight color there. Just using some of that get some of that orange. Now we don't want to mix it in too much. But just grab some of that. And right here, there we go. That gives us nice highlight to put on that trunk. One back here. Just pull them across. There we are. Up a little higher with that. There we go. Oh, and I'm touching my knuckles to the canvas, pulling off some of that paint. You want to be careful of that. You want to be careful of that. And put that in there. We grabbed a piece of that dry paint. We don't want that in there. Just pull it right off. Touch a few more spots. There we go. Just to give it some... Just some highlight on there. There we are. And those turned out a little bright on that side. So let's tone those down a bit. We want them a little more brown than that. The leaves will bring out that color. There we go. Great. 
late. I hope I'm not in your way. I tend to do that. I get right in front of you and you're like, oh, Timbo, I can't see what you're doing. There we go. All right, now let's come. Let's come with some highlights here. We're just going to take our one inch brush that we used before. We're just going to clean that off a bit. And we're going to leave that pretty thin. You see that? Get that there. And then we're going to come back this way. And we're just going to tap in some golden leaves that are picking up that sun. Sun that might be out back that way. There we go. Put that back there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a fan brush and we're just going to tap a corner of it in there. There we go. And we'll just highlight this evergreen tree just slightly, just slightly. Just near the top. There we are. The sky too. And we're just going to get a touch of green and a little bit of white. Just make that a, a cherry green color there. Just tap him on. There we go. And this guy back here. There we are. And let's come back. Let's get, load up a few different colors on our brush. And we just want to put a few more colors in there just to give it a variety. Now, as we come on this side, these are going to be a little more yellow orange and these will be a little more red orange over here. So. So let's go to our yellow orange first. Just load it up on the brush. And now we're just going to pop in some of those leaves here. As I said, this is, it's fall. And you're seeing some of those. Now I got a little bit of our bright red color here too. And we're just going to put some of those in. Clean off that brush if you're picking up too much of that green back there. And then come back to it. Load up some different colors there on the brush. There we go. When you come back to your palette, knock off, just knock off some of that color you're picking up. And come back up to it. And we're going to put that in. Just put in some of that, that darker red underneath. And we'll come back. Now we're, maybe we'll go to a bigger brush. Well, let's, let's get some of this. Let's put some of this on our bigger brush. There we go. And we're just going to pop this in here. Oh, there's some red. Let's get this a little wet. Get 
that a little thin. We're just loading up different colors on there. You see, there's different colors all over that. And we'll just come and we're popping in these. Just tapping those in. Tapping these in, there we go. Mixing those together. There we are. We just want to bring that down. And you see, having that dark underneath lets that color shine through on top. Put in a big old bush there, a big old orange bush. Now, <clears throat> as we said over here, we want we want the yellow to really stick out because this side on these edges, it's going to pick up that golden sun. Right there. These are picking up more of that yellow. Come to a smaller brush for these ones here in the back. And just put it in those individual colors. You see where it picks up that yellow back there. And it'll darken as it comes lower. Just that outer edge too. There we go. Mix that in. Oh, we're mixing a little mud there. But just come back to our palette knife and we'll cut in some of these branches. There we are. Get that thin on there. And then this bush is just catching those highlights, you see? Right there. And you let those darks play back there, but right up front, that's where it catches the light. 
There we are. Now we can come and put some color on this side. So I'm going to come back to my big brush. Now we're going for very dark orange color here. So we're going to come to this red and we're going to mix that in. And let's see what we can put in with that. And there we go. There we go. And oh, that's a little too red. I just got straight alizarin crimson on there. Oh, that side. We got too much alizarin crimson mixed into that, so let's. It's kind of a brownish orange. We'll just tap that out. And we just want to. Try and bend that brush as we put it in. See, yes, there we go. There we go. Now, and at times we can even come back and we can highlight that a little more. We're gonna have a path back here. This path will run its way and wind its way down. So let's work on putting our path in. And we're just coming up with that color for the path. There we go. Now this path will run right back this way. And then maybe the hill comes down and it comes round this way. And we're just putting that in, putting that in as we see it, as we see it. And maybe it's a little darker right here. There we go. Now, now we have paths that meet. Paths that meet. And, oh, let's, we're making a mess of this palette. Let's clean some of this off. Let's clean some of this off. Clean some of that dark color, just set it over on the side. Pull some of this off. There we go, just set it right over here. All right, let's, let's come to that yellow ochre again. And we'll put him down.
This path comes off this way. And we'll say there's even a path. Maybe this is where two paths meet. That's right. Where two paths meet. Say this is a bigger path. And we're just putting that in now. We'll come over and, and give it some more color. But... We'll say this path runs right off this way. There we go. Oh, we got a little guy on there. Let's pull him off. Pull that off. Kind of a messy painting today, but that's okay. All right, let's... Let's work on that path a little bit. We're actually going to use our palette knife here. Get some of our titanium white. And we'll just And this part will get into some of the deeper shadows of the woods. And as we get out of that forest a little, the path will lighten up. This path will lighten up a bit once it gets out of that forest line. Just bring that in. There we go. And it meets this part of the path. There we are. Now let's put some grass back there, right back there. Clean off that brush. We'll come into some of our yellow and green here. And let's make this a grassy lane. There we are. And you can see, you follow the lay of that land where that hill comes down from that tree line. And we just put some grass, bring it right up to the path. Now in here, it's a little darker. So we want that grass to be more in the shadow. So this grass, we've just loaded up this brush and we're just tapping with the side of the brush. Just create that feel of grass in there. There we go. And come back. It'll be the same right through here.
Just bring that up to your path. There we are. Now, clean off our brush. And we're going to go back to that lighter, that lighter grass. That's the way it is back here. And put some of that right along the edge there. So it's kind of getting lost. Just getting lost back there. There we go. Come to some of that now. And we just put in more of that grassy lane. And that's a brighter green over here. There's some sun getting through on this grass. And just kind of push your path back with some of that. There we go. There we are. Now, maybe this comes, there's a big old rock right here. Right there at the crossroads. We can put in a rock. Right where the paths come together. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come with just a little highlight here. Just that rocky gray. Just get some of that on there. And just highlight that rock. There we go. Now we can push this path back by putting in some dark bushes right here. Right here we'll put in some dark bushes. There we go. So that path comes out of those bushes and then just come up. We'll Little bit of a highlight, just put on those bushes. There we go. There we go. That bush is just right down there in the front of the painting, just hanging out. Oh, all right, and maybe we want a sign on our path right over here. So I'm going to. Pull out a spot where we'll have a sign. This will point us the way. The road goes ever on and on, down from the door where it began. Now far ahead the road has gone, and I must follow if I can, pursuing it with eager feet until it joins some larger way, where many paths and errands meet, and whither then I cannot say. And this way you'll go and go there. Let's get a little just come up with a highlight brown. There we are. And we'll have our sign right here.
There we go. Now if you want to come back when that gets dry and you put a sign that says to Hobbiton or wherever you're going to go, you can put that in. But oh, Mr. Bilbo, he would take that path when he was going, oh, off to Rivendell. I hope you enjoyed today's painting. As always, you can always come back in and add more details and put in more highlights and that sort of thing. Or you can keep it the way it is. Maybe we'll come back and we'll put old Mr. Bilbo marching down that path at a later date. I don't know. You have to stay tuned. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Goodbye and God bless. Thank you for joining me on today's painting. I'm so happy you were with me. Now, if you'd like to continue to go on painting adventures with me, become part of my fellowship. And you do that by clicking that subscribe button below. Yes, and be sure to give it a like and a share. That would be oh so helpful. Now, we don't know how many of these seeing stones are unaccounted for. So we don't know who else is watching. I've got to go. Have a good day.